Hello everyone. How is everybody? Let me give you some Sorrento news, ticker SRNE. Today Sorrento announced, and I'm going to mess up everything in this article, so. <laughs> Alright, today announced the completion of the SAD portion of the phase one study of its oral main viral protease inhibitor, the STI-1558. The Phase 1 Safety and PK Study in Healthy Volunteers was conducted in Australia. The mpr cove 101 au study is entitled A Randomized Double-Blind Placebo-Controlled Phase 1 Study to Assess the Safety, Tolerability, and Pharmacokinetics of Single and Multiple Oral Doses of STI-1558 in Healthy Volunteers. In the SAD portion of the study, a four-dose escalation cohorts with eight subjects in each cohort randomized three to one. Only the preliminary blinded safety and PK data from the SAD portion, SAD portion of this study is available. Overall, there were no change in, changes in vital signs, physical examinations, ECGs, or safety clinical labs resulting from study participation. The pre preliminary overall summary of treatment emergent adverse events showed that there were no serious AEs or severe TEAEs and the, mac and the maximum tolerated dose was not reached. No dose limited, limiting toxicity was noted and there were no premature terminations from the study post-treatment and no deaths no deaths during the study. That's good. <laughs> the linear and semi-log plots for doses from 300 milligrams to 1,200 milligrams are proportional and support a twice daily dose of 600 milligrams to maintain drug levels in plasma above EC90 of the predicted value for viral inhibition. In inhibish Why can't I say that? Hold on, give me a second. <laughs> Inhibition. <laughs> there you go. I'm so silly. All right. In rats, STI-1558 has showed sufficient lung tissue penetration with 5.8-fold higher drug level in lungs than in plasma, indicating a potential robust antiviral activity in COVID-19 patients. A high-fat meal reduced CMAX and AUC, therefore it is appropriate to take the STI-1558 capsules on an empty stomach twice daily. The multiple ascending dose study is starting in Australia, a large phase two study is planned in Mexico that could support an emergency use, emergency use authorization in Mexico. Phase two slash three trials in US and other major region, regions have also been planned once the MAD part is successfully completed. Well, okay then. Wow. So, you know, there's something I gotta say. <laughs> I can actually relate to Joe Biden when he has to read and he just can't read for jack sh <laughs> He can't read anything. On He just stumbles and mumbles and I, I, I can finally relate to that. All right. I'm not going to make fun of him anymore because I can relate. <laughs> All right. There's Sorrento news. So Sorrento is popping today just like everything else. So it's a beautiful day in the market. And... I'll keep you updated on Sorrento and everything else goes on. Have a beautiful day. Bye.